Ness versus Sheik and Charizard. Let's see about this. I like the blue team setup. Uh, Sheik will be able to get those fast combos uh, and uh, just keep the pressure on very CQC. And then Charizard's such such a wall with the back air and just like opportunities. Blue's Charizard is fantastic. So we'll see how that works out for them. And then also I like the, the red team as well. Uh, Cloud, you know, he's a doubles uh, master. And uh, uh, Ness should be able to rack up a lot of uh, forward air uh, strings, especially on Charizard. And, you know, that back throw is always so lethal. At 100%, it should, uh, should be able to take out people. And right now, Bound, uh, Earth Bounty is looking on, uh, for these uh, PK Thunder, PK Missiles on stage, which is really, really uh, risky to do, especially against the Cheek, who can just rush you down and uh, uh, get an attack out on you before you get the connection. Solid forward smash from uh, Valis Debum. Uh, he'll be able to claim a uh, stop off of Law. Right now, Earth Bounty, yeah, he's playing a little more of that uh, aerial game, which uh, should be pretty good. I mean, Blue's aerial game is on point as well, and he's really risking it with those PK missiles. I'm not sure why he's doing that so much. You should know that it leaves him vulnerable, especially with these top, top play, excuse me, top players. And uh, that'll be a 1-2 stock claim on Red Team, and Blue is hanging on being the stock tank like he should be doing, and connects with him to up the setup. Uh, a lot of aerial gameplay so far, but a back throw from Earth Bounty will be able to send out Blue on his first stock. And here come the forward air strings from Earth Bounty. Not able to get the third one, though, because of uh, the uh, drop. And uh, Harambi sent up a forward, uh, up, air, uh, up smash. I'm sorry, I'm by myself, people. It's uh, really hard to solo commentate doubles. Uh, but Blue going in with back airs, trying to keep the edge guard of uh, Ballisky Bum off <laughs> and uh bounty will be taken out and another attempt at an edge guard but they both opt for the safe recovery oh wow the forward smash actually connected with law as he was running in that was unfortunate uh to the definition and it does force that share stock option and uh charizard at 75 percent he will be living a lot a uh, lot more but just a couple more combos and he will be in killed territory for that back throw especially on uh, any side of that uh the stage uh, potential Law trying to edge guard, but he rolls back to try to help out his teammate. Good bouncing fish, though. We'll send him out, and Bounty is going to be the center of focus here. Uh, he's rolling right past everything, though. Great, uh, great job from Bounty trying to avoid all that. And an up air uh, will send out uh, Valis Kibum on his last stock. But Blue is on 115 right now. He's in, yeah, he's feeling the pressure with the shield and an accidental hit there as well. He's feeling. Definitely feeling the pressure with that forward smash coming through and it will take out on blue law is going to be by himself And right now 2v1 situation all they have to do is play really reserved the red team uh, Just have one person focus in and that should be cloud right now And uh, they'll be able to take this Oh wow the upbeat coming through on that uh, right uh, through that uh, down smash Trying to two frame on that uh, upbeat but not going to work but the charge cross smash with the cranial connector he say, no, I want this kill. I want this. <laughs> you know, uh, that was a hype match. Uh, round one going to the red team there. And, uh, but uh, Blue and Law are known for their turnarounds and they're known for their ad uh, adaptation. So we'll definitely see how they can turn this around. Um, I don't know, it was pretty solid all the, all the way around. It did come down to last stock, pretty high percentages. Um, I don't know, it's weird. I think Law might have gotten a... L the, the deal with Sheik is that if you shield any of her attacks when they're close in, you have a fairly good opportunity to get some kind of punish off of it, especially if it's a perfect shield. So, I mean, maybe he plays a little bit more carefully. He was doing really, really well, but it, we'll just see how that plays out if he chooses that option in round two here. And the platforms should be able to help out just about everybody, actually. Um, Blue can get a lot more of those aerial combos that they're so no, uh, well known for. Cloud can get some as well, especially with his neutral control. Uh, she can get her uh, up airs a lot easier. And uh, like we said before, uh, Blue stuffing out the PK Thunder, trying to go for it again, but he gets the bounce on the stage. Good option for Earth Bounty to recover close in towards the stage to avoid that uh, down air spike. 
And the Diamond Cutter coming through on platform will take out Valis Ski Bum on his first, uh, first stock. PK Thunder trying to wall out again. Again, Earthbound, he's got to be really careful, especially with these platforms, could potentially stop his PK missile attempt. And wow, the up air actually connecting with the opponent. I mean, he was just going in trying to rack up damage, but it was actually able to take out Law. PK Thunder going in. He should be, yeah. I don't really think he should use PK Thunder when his teammate's in a tough position. He should really rush in and try to help out his teammate a little bit more. I mean, props to them. They did take the round one, but it's looking a little bit more even here. And uh, just uh, fairly from that last stock, it was pretty even. And the uh, blue team may have had a slight lead. And uh, they definitely have somewhat of a lead now, especially with the bounty. Looking to get KO in here, but great charge blade beam from uh, Valis Ski Bum. Breaking out the uh, potential kill for the blue team there. Right now, just going in hand with those forward smashes. It breaks up a whole bunch, and uh, it does have a lot of wind up, but he is dashing in with it and uh, trying to break it up when his teammate is in trouble, when the blue team's focus is on his teammate. But oh, almost a 1 2 stock plan. He's got to be careful. Uh, Earthbound, he kind of just doomed his teammate there. Uh, he did get his charge, but uh, that forward air, while attempting to hit blue, was also hitting Valis Ski Bomb, and it forced him out a little too far out, and it did accidentally uh, claim stock. So we'll chalk that up to an Ed. Okay, well, one for one. An accidental ed, uh, stock claim for a teammate there on blue side as well. All right, let me try to collect my thoughts here. <laughs> Back coming in. Ball putting in a little bit more work here. He's trying to go for that rushdown technique. Good uh, up tilts. Again, a lot more setups. Up B almost coming through. Didn't get the uh, the last hit of that up uh, up B for uh, blue trying to kill Valis Keep on there. Good job to spot dodge that PK fire. It did hit his teammate, but he was able to respond quite quickly. And that stage spike will be able to send out Bounty on uh, his final stock coming up. And Blue hanging on, 101. He should be around for a little bit more. Oh, the breakup of that PK Thunder stopped that throw. And that right now, uh, Valis Keeblum trying to up air uh, Blue there, but uh, good awareness from Law breaking that up and uh, giving his partner safe recovery. And uh, Law actually does snap to ledge. I didn't think he was a. Uh, I thought he was too low for that. Law trying to rush down. Just anybody who can get his hands on PK Fire going to stuff him out, especially since uh, Sheik is a fast follower. He should be uh, trapped in that PK Fire a lot more. I didn't even mention that, and I should have mentioned it earlier on. Trying to get a grab, gets it the second time, and the back row will take out Blue on his last stock, but an unfortunate uh, circumstance for uh, Valis Ski Bum. He gets a grab out of it, set up with an up B, not gonna kill just yet. Uh, Flamethrower, Firewall, ooh, Firewall, I'll use that turn now, Firewall, that's good. <laughs> uh, good uh, up B break up, trying to find a connection, not gonna get it, and Blue was a little bit uh, apprehensive to go in and dash in, but he did throw out the back air, and it was the flame hit at the end, and whoo! That will be uh, round two for uh, that was, uh, Blue and Law there. I'm sorry, bear with me here, I'm uh, baggy by myself. <laughs> And uh, let's see, what was the, uh, I don't know, blue team had a little bit more just of a overall grasp of that game, I'd say. Um, they used their, I think it was team synergy that happened a lot more uh, in that second round. Red team has to be able to uh, watch that stuff, like, they're retreating to help their teammates, or they're coming in to help their teammates and whatnot, so. Uh, red team has to have a little bit more of the same, and it should be a very close round three if they do that. And speaking of, here we hop into it right away. And, uh, already the aerial game is starting out, uh, fairly crisp. Blue's got 50, but he's, you know, heavyweight. Cloud can live for a pretty long time as well. But the gimping capability, especially if he fast falls like that, an SD from Valus Ski Bomb, that'll set the tone for this uh, round. It's not looking too good. Especially with uh, Charizard, the uh, one that has the high damage right now. And Cheek has gone untouched. I don't believe that. That's crazy. Props to Law for just skirting around everything right now. But finally, a forward air. All right, finally gets the connection, but it leads him right into the Skull Bash of... Uh, Charizard on LOF Blue, or at least the forward smash of it. I'm not sure if that's the right term. Fire, he's using that flamethrower a lot more now just to keep the uh, red team at bay. 
possibly while the uh, law charges up uh, spikes or, or the daggers, I guess, or spikes one or the other. Stops the flare blitz, trying to find a back air connection, not gonna find it, in the, but the platform might send him out now since it was across stage. He's still living. And uh, let's see here, an up throw, not on platform, but it might, no, no, he did have a. Uh, did have his uh, charge up, and he will be able to recover as well. Oh no, but the back air is sending him out, responding. Uh, Blue Sand, you're trying to recover high, I'm not letting that happen. But uh, the aerial game right now, he's trying to chase uh, uh, Blue down. That was Ski Bomb, he's trying to chase him down, but Law was doing a pretty good job, but that back air will finally be able to take out Blue on his first stock. Uh, Law hanging on to his, uh, hanging on uh, to his stock right now. He's at 89%, a couple more hits, and he will be in back throw territory though. Trying to find, he didn't get that last hit, and the back air, maybe he would have opted for up air, especially since he was on that top platform. I mean, it had a better chance, I think. Um, good connection there, almost takes him out. Very nice combo from uh, Valski Bum and Earth Bounty. But right now, Blue Team has a pretty good control of main stage here, and especially, in, okay, wow. All right, uh, that was very, very risky, but it did take out opponent and not teammate there. Accidentally hitting its teammate, ended down throw. He's at 18%, so he's fine. Uh, it's still incredible that Law is hanging on to his uh, first stock at 122, but there it is, commentator's curse. And the up air, the uh, cranial connector. Great spike from Blue, sending down Earth Bounty and leaving Cloud in a one stock uh, disadvantage right here. And the stage spike will send out uh, Valis Ski Bomb. What a great reversal from uh, Blue and Law there. Fanta uh, Red Team definitely kept the pressure on, but uh, just